Welcome to Kaluan Mufflers on this particularly sunny day where I can barely see what's going on. But behind us we have a Jeep and we're going to go fit up a catback system to it. But we start with having a quick look at the Jeep. For those of you who don't have a Jeep, check some of these features out. Other than the fact it's banging a 6.4 litre Hemi, which is quite the engine. And the interior, wow. These are a gorgeous car inside. Them big seats. But, my favourite feature of this, the launch control has a Christmas tree on it. How rad is that? The Grand Cherokee. This is the stock exhaust. We've got somewhere up in there, we've got some manifolds, some rather large cat converters, and this point right here on both sides is going to be where our cat back attaches to, which is going to remove this large centre muffler arrangement. She's a monster. Piping will be very similar to that, and then it'll have much better performing rear mufflers as well. Now, we're using the Hurricane system today, which gives us a few options in the tip area. We're going to either use these tips, or we're going to switch them out for a large 5 inch. I'll show you that option when we get to that stage. I'll give you some cool bits for it. Right, so this bad boy here is our midsection. These are 409 stainless steel, and they've actually got a clear coat on them. Hurricanes go for this raw finish. I'm a fan of it. I think it's most cars from the factory come with a raw finish exhaust and this will blend nicely and look really factory in the near future. So I think it's a good thing. They're also adjustable here and need to be welded. I'll just, okay, when I say adjustable, they're, they're really tightly in there. But they move around and they get welded so you can really fine tune the positioning of this system. This is what the mid looks like in the car. Nice and high. Sits up really well, plenty of clearance. Looks good all the way through. Now, these are these pieces here that we're talking about being adjustable. I got them to free up and come loose. What we're gonna do is fit the entire exhaust, and this is gonna really allow us to fine tune our fitment and get it sitting really, really nicely. This fellow right here is the stock standard mid. Get a good look here at the size of this, this mid resonator muffler arrangement. This does actually have a balance tube in it so that the two paths are, are combined. The balance is now done in like an X-pipe style in the exhaust. These are all an aluminized steel system. For a brand new car, you can see she's already starting to rust. These do have a pretty short life out of the stock exhaust. Stock rear mufflers, which are pretty much a straight through. They're, they're a pretty good flow path. And a fun little mod to do on these is to delete this middle muffler and keep the rears. And actually sound pretty darn good. I'll play with that on a video one day. There's our tips that the, uh, they can undo from there. Now with this system and the way it's designed, we can choose to cut this tip off and keep this sort of factory look to the back of the vehicle or um, we're actually going to go a different way. Wait till I show you what we're doing there. Get a hang of that bad boy. Doesn't we're in the sun here and it's actually looking different on the camera to what it is. It's, it's black. Trust me. Believe me. It's black. They look really good. So they fill out the bumper quite nicely. Quite a large amount of room in these bumpers and the big 5 inch tip just sets it right off. They're a special one we do for this particular vehicle. They're a short five inch dual wall with a three inch inlet. And he's gonna look really cool. All right, Tim's just mocking that tip up there. So that's gonna go in there nicely. We just use a piece of stub which goes in the muffler, gets welded to that. The tip gets welded to that fellow. You can see that all the systems in the car now. We've got our connecting pipes that go onto the, uh, the midsection and then our mufflers are in the back. Something I probably didn't show you guys earlier, which you should know, if you look up in here, there's a hanger. There's one the same on the other side. Instead of trying to fight with the hangers and remove the rubbers on these cars, get that hanger unbolted and the whole lot just drops out quite nicely. So, a little bit of a tip for you there. And this is what I was talking about before with that X pipe in the middle of it. This actually balances the exhaust back out in a similar way like the other system has it in the front there. This has it right here and does a really good job of it. So Tim's just put these fellows back in here, the little spot weld, so they are going to go back together. You do reuse the spring-loaded bolts off the original system. And once we get all this sitting right, we're happy with how the rear is sitting, we'll then go ahead and weld these two. They're nice, easy to get to weld. And we'll lock it all down. Cool, so Tim's just setting the tips up. They're going quite nicely, them big five-inch suckers. Yeehaw. So we'll actually set them up at eye level on the ground. I'll just quickly scoot through here and show you where we've welded this fellow here. So that locks down that positioning there as well. Getting there. Right, well, there we go. Tips are set and done. 
And we were just painting the back of the muffler bodies there black, just to sort of hide them a little bit behind the back of the car. I think that's a great look. All right, let's put her on the ground and see how she looks. So there she is at an idle. And that's how good it is. Rock on, well, thanks for watching guys, catch you on the next one.